I'm Madhu Sharma and this is Design Mind. Every episode we teach your mind about design by analyzing a website. In this episode of Design Mind, we are looking at the portfolio website of artist Christoph Niemann. It's a very simple site, but it is filled with a host of clever touches. Let's start with the home page. The home page is a simple full screen slideshow which lets Christoph Niemann's work stand for itself. One touch I really like is the use of yellow bars on the side. Generally on a portfolio site, the design should be as invisible as possible to avoid distracting from the work. The yellow bars certainly avoid distraction, but they also help to bring a unified identity to the diverse items. It's a very subtle technique, but it's also very effective. On the left, we have Christoph's logo, which stands out by virtue of being the only text item on the page. Underneath it is a hamburger menu. I've spoken on past episodes of Design Mind about how hamburger menus aren't a good idea for desktop displays. Although they streamline the interface, hiding links in a menu means the user now has to make two clicks to switch between pages, as an extra click is required to open the menu. Christoph Niemann, however, offers an interesting twist on the hamburger menu, as once you click it, it stays permanently open. This is brilliant, as it keeps the homepage design free of clutter, but when the user moves on to the task of browsing content, they don't have to make all those extra clicks to call up the navigation. Let's look at the content pages. All the content pages follow this grid layout. The photos in the grid are quite dominant and powerful, especially as some of the images are animated. Normally, such dominant images would result in a conflicting mess, but the grid employs generous margins which constrains each image and brings order to the page. The grid has some excellent design touches. Before the image loads, this checkered background is visible. Like the yellow bars we saw earlier, it's a subtle way of creating a unique identity for the page without distracting from the images. Another great touch is the varied image size and the inclusion of borderless images. This technique makes the grid feel more organic, which complements the electric nature of the work. Clicking on an image opens this case study page. Like the rest of the site, the page goes for a clean and simple look, which allows the graphics to stand for themselves. At the bottom is this pager. The hand-drawn style has presumably been used to add a touch of creativity to the page, but to be honest, I think it's rather poor. The style of the pager doesn't complement the clean look of the page. This causes the pager to disrupt the harmony of the page. It also doesn't tell which item of work is coming up next, which limits its usefulness. Let's look at the news page. The news page follows the grid style of the other pages, but incorporates boxes to house captions for each story. Certain boxes are inverse by using white text on a black background, which is a good way of highlighting key content. On the whole though, I think the boxes are a poor choice, as they bring too much rigidity to the page, making it too busy. This problem is further worsened by the fact that the other pages work so wonderfully at creating a clean and balanced layout. Let's analyse the site on mobile. The clean design works brilliantly on mobile, as it makes it effortless to browse through the content. The only difference is that the hamburger menu is now used on every page. Of course, being a mobile site, I have no problem with this, as hamburger menus work perfectly on mobile. In conclusion, Christopher Neiman is an excellent example of a portfolio site. It does a wonderful job of allowing its work to retain maximum impact but it still manages to inject a few branding touches to make the site stand out from other clean designs. That's it for this episode of Design Mind. A new episode of Design Mind is released every Monday and Thursday. Find us on the web at designmind.info. Our YouTube channel is at youtube.com slash designmindinfo. You can also find us on iTunes. We'd love it if you could leave us a review at any of these places. Until next time, happy designing!